Your Patrick Oliva, director of uh, Global Prospective. So, Patrick, behind you is an, what you call an active wheel, and that's for electric cars and for hybrids. Explain why, what you're doing. We have integrated within the, uh, the rim uh, three essential functions, an electric motor, an electric suspension, and a brake. All of that within the rim and the tire. Um, by associating these four functions, uh, we have developed a system which is going to be used in electric cars or in hybrid cars. Uh, the beauty of it is that in, we have um, uh, succeeded in making electric engines which are very small. And these electric motors can be inserted within the, uh, within the wheel. Uh, at the same time, we have developed uh, all the electronics which is necessary to activate an electric suspension. And by integrating all these functions within the wheel, you uh, understand that we can open new uh, degrees of freedom to develop electric cars in particular, because on the chassis, you just have to, to integrate electronics and the power source, which can be either a battery or a fuel cell. But it makes the, the whole design of an electric or hybrid vehicle much, much simpler. When will we see these? Um, you have seen two of these vehicles, two vehicles equipped with these uh, technologies at the Mondial de Paris. Uh, they are still on display. Uh, but uh, more uh, precisely, Eliez, uh, which is a French manufacturer, is going to, um, to put 5,000 of electric cars equipped with uh, such active wheels in 2010. So, we'll make the, the electric vehicle It'll make it less expensive, won't it? it um, the active wheel in itself you know, has no reason to be terribly expensive. You are absolutely right. And the design of the entire vehicle should be much cheaper. The only costly element of an electric vehicle or hybrid vehicle is going to remain the battery. But the calculations we've made show very clearly that in a, in a period of five years, um, I mean, you can uh, develop such electric or hybrid vehicles at a cost which make them perfectly um, um, competitive with existing internal combustion engine cars. Every one of these uh, wheels has a motor in it? Yes. So this makes all vehicles all-wheel drive? No, not necessarily. You can either use two or four. And if you refer to the two vehicles which we have uh, already developed in uh, partnership with Meliès and with uh, Venturi, uh, the sports car developed by Venturi uses four complete active wheels. That is to say that it's a, it's a four by four. And the car developed by, uh, by Meliès only uses the engine, um, the um, electric motors on the front wheels. Now I see on the other uh poster behind you, the hydrogen fuel cell and the uh, Shell Echo Marathon. Uh, were, are any of them being used right now with what, what you've What got? is going to, to happen is that in 2009, we are um, going to present a vehicle which will not only be equipped with the active wheels, but which will also in integrate a fuel cell developed by Michelin. Uh, Mitchell has been working on the, the future of what the automotive world would look like in the years to come. And we're pretty convinced that um, um, electric systems, and in particular electric motors and electric suspensions, will develop because that is the way of uh, reducing the, the, the weight, reducing the mass of, uh, of cars, at the same time reducing the energy consumption. And we, we strongly believe that in the years to come, such technologies, be it for hybrid vehicles or full electric vehicles, these technologies will develop. So, in terms of power source, we will definitely start with batteries, even though they are still costly and will remain costly in the years to come. But gradually, we will probably see fuel cells uh, being introduced in such hybrid or uh, electric vehicles. Was this being worked on when Edward was alive? Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, the work started in 1996, so we've been working on this project for 12 years now, and, uh, and the project has come to fruition. Well, he's got to be smiling from, from above. I'm sure that uh, he was absolutely um, uh, supportive of such initiatives, and um, I mean, his objective was only to make everything possible to make sure that the uh, cars will continue developing the world. 
And you know, today with the challenges of CO2, the challenges of energy diversification, the challenges brought by congestion in cities and so forth, um, there are some threats on the development of, uh, of cars. And we strongly believe that um, uh, a way of uh, rising against uh, these, uh, these threats and challenges is really to turn to uh, innovative technologies, just like the ones we have discussed. Patrick, thank you very much. Thank you very much.